Hi, I'm Tom Foreman in Santa Rosa, New Mexico, along old Route 66, where today we're looking at a story of building up in a most unexpected business. A bit more than a year ago, M.E. Springlemeyer had every reason to give up on the economy, the West, and especially newspapers. We just walked around the whole day with tears in our eyes. After 10 years of reporting for Denver's Rocky Mountain News, he and his colleagues were shocked to find it shutting down. That was a special place, and it was a damn good newspaper. But rather than retreat, he charged straight down to his home state of New Mexico. An unusual choice, perhaps, as a place to rebuild a career. The economy here has been struggling with steep job losses in mining, manufacturing, construction. It's dead, nothing really going on. I would say it's very hard. You could find one, but it's, it's, it's going to be tough. But in the little town of Santa Rosa, Springlemeyer found a newspaper for sale. And with every last dollar he had, he bought it. Was this a wise decision? It is the best thing I ever did. Best thing I ever did. He says that because no matter what he is covering each day, he and his small staff are making a go of it. While other papers are dramatically cutting their costs, Springlemeyer increased his staff payroll by 40% adding more pages, more photos, more stories. He killed the paper's website, arguing that it hurt street sales. And through all of that, he rebuilt the paper's relationship with its readers. The, the community hangs on every story. The community hangs on every cartoon. <laughs> so now, when he lampoons a local tourist attraction, a famous diving hole, even business folks who rely on it for a living seem to enjoy the joke. Yeah. You like the cartoon? It is, I like it. I'm going to keep all of these. It's tough work. One night a week, he drives 100 miles each way to pick up his papers from a printer. And many more nights, he and his staff work far into the darkness, all to keep expenses down and quality up. Those things the readers don't notice. But what they sure as heck notice is that a lot of these big city newspapers are getting thinner and thinner and thinner. While his paper is getting thicker. And the result? Subscriptions, street sales, and advertising are all up, up, up. This is the big lesson that you can apply to any paper in the country. It's working here because I'm spending more, not less. And because while other papers are folding all over, here everyone knows every morning Emmy Springlemeyer and his team will be back on the beat. And the spirit that Emmy has brought to his newspaper is something you can feel through the whole town as many people embrace this idea that with hard work and innovation and investment, you can build up in all sorts of places where you might not expect it. I'm Tom Foreman in Santa Rosa, New Mexico.